everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be so much fun because it is the end of the month, which means monthly favorites of course. And we love everything about monthly favorites here on YouTube. They've sort of taken the popularity spot you know, away from the halls because I feel like when it comes to favorites, everything's really tried and true. Everybody's tested them out because a lot of us do these monthly. Some of us do them more than monthly. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of favorites on YouTube, styles of favorites. But, uh, you know, I really like to do this, you know, at the end of the month. And if it gets to the middle of the month, you know, I really kind of just like to skip that month <laughs> because at that point, it's like, eh, I'm sure I'll find enough you know, favorites for two months, more than enough. So, um, with that said, let's go ahead and we shall, we shall, we shall dive right in because I'm sure I got a bunch of scrum diddly umptious monthly favorites for February. God, this year is going by so slowly, I had to stop and think. Okay, so, I like to start off with skincare. I don't remember where I started off last month. This, like I said, this year's going by so slow, I feel like it's already freaking March. Uh, I feel like I should be doing my March favorites. But the very first product I have in here is the Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Serum. And I love it because it is brightening up my skin. I'm getting so many compliments. I'm sure I've already shared this product with you, but if I haven't already told you, I'm getting so many compliments on my skin from this one little product. And sometimes my skin does look a little bit, you know, too red sometimes when I'm about to put on my foundation and all. But with that said, I feel like this cell turnover is really perfect that you should have some, you know, natural colors, some natural hormones, and just some overall natural nutrition in your skin. You don't want to look ghostly, dull, uh, dry, gray. So all in all, it is brightening up my skin and I see major clarity with it. And it is a lotion, which I, you know, back when I started off my channel, if you don't recall, my skin was very breakout prone. So I never thought I would be saying I love a lotion serum, but let's, you know, six and a half years makes a big difference on your skin when you started in your mid to late 20s and you're now in your 30s still on YouTube. I love this serum. It's fantastic and I highly recommend you go and get yourself a bottle or anything with vitamin C. Um, it's a brilliant anti-ager as well. I really want to try the Eternal Elixir next. Well, not next. I don't know if this product's replaceable for me, but I want to add a Eternal Elixir into my regimen. And I have been telling all my friends about this next product because I think it is selfish not to share it. Hey, I share it with you. I feel like every woman should possess enough self-confidence within themselves to share all of their beauty secrets because why not have all of your friends feel as happy as you? So Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Cream is everything and a bag of chips. It is the I is the kitchen sink of eye creams because it is a four in one. It's an anti ager. It is ed. It is a distressor. Um, it is an environmental, um, ref, you know, deflector, and of course, it will help wipe away discoloration. If you're somebody who, like me, is already super fair, though, to be very honest, the skin is super thin around here, you may not be able to get rid of the pinkness in this zone. Eating healthy will get rid of a little bit of it, but um, if you do have darker skin with darker uh, discoloration, you know, that is what it is. Different skin tones will have different forms of discoloration tones, obviously, because that's what it is. Our tonality is made up of a spectrum of you know, natural pigments, but basically that'll kind of help target, you know, with the sort of heavy lookingness of the bags. It could just be a shadow. Everybody has a shadow underneath their eyes. I can't stress that enough. So many people come to me and go, I got such big bags and it makes sense. You, it's always just a shadow, I swear. So look for a tonality difference with this. You should see it because it does also have vitamin C. Next up for basic care, I want to bring up brows because brows are essential. We need them in our everyday lives. 
And my favorite thing I've been doing for brows, you didn't send me to this all month because I kind of just discovered it, but I would really hate for you to go through a major, 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 major series of videos and not know about it. And the reason I'm including it in my monthly favorites, even though I discovered it kind of in the tail end, is because it's been on my mind all month long. And I have been trying it with just, you know, some of the little samples that we have at work before I decided to go ahead and buy myself a whole brow gel. But I decided to go ahead and pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Auburn to match up with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Auburn. And so I'm thinking to myself now, that's one expensive brow girl. I like to just go through the brows, nothing else on, comb them upwards, and then go through them with the brow definer. So that's what I've done today, and you can see that it builds a very, you know, natural brow. They're kind of worn now because I've worn my makeup all day, so you can kind of see the discrepancy of how they're not completely identical and how there's a scar in this one. And there is always inevitably a very heavy, thick scar once my makeup's been kind of worn all day long. I try to make it so you can't see how drawn on they are by fluffing it out. But like I said, makeup's really sort of not perfect anymore. My favorite in here is the Booksome. God, this is already worn. Is this really something I own? You can see how much I love it. It's worn. That's not like me. But this is the Booksome Plump Line Lip Liner. You may have seen these on ads. You have a brush on one end and you have a pencil on the other. This is the shade Dolly Danger. And so I'm looking to buy little like lip liners here and there that are creamy but stay on. And I love that these are plumping. I'm wearing it now. They just plump up your lips ever so gently and you don't need to color in your whole lip. Um, this is a really great shade if you have a lot of nudes in your collection because you get the right you know, amount of definition. I loved it so much, I recently bought, went out and bought Code Red, which to me is a really great red that's going to look great with a lot of pinks and a lot of reds. So I went out and bought Code Red, which is like classic red. I don't want it to look too cherry because it'll turn all of your reds into a cool tone red. And I've, uh, I love me a warm tone red, warm tone red. So I just got a good classic one. Uh, and then I'll probably be buying a true nude, like a really soft nude, like White Russian, and then a burgundy after this. Um, we'll just see what else I collect in between. But I really do love these so much that I bought, went out and bought uh, one in another color. These are awesome lip liners. So awesome. And I love the color range. Eyeliners of the month. And I kind of stumbled upon these uh, in Palm Springs. And it's so shameful because I actually sell these at work. And they are the round the clock uh, eye eyeliners from Bare Minerals. So yes, I sell Bare Minerals at work. and But we only have these in black and brown. And a lot of people don't love them because everybody that I sell eyeliners to at work wants the retractables. And I'm not a retractable fan because those liners simply don't last. I rather find myself pitching something in the next, you know, two to three, four years because something is more pigmented and better and technology is increased in four years and be throwing away something that's this big than buying the same eyeliner every month. That's a waste of money, really. So I picked up, in Palm Springs, I picked up 1PM, which is a peacock, which I've already used in videos, and I picked up 4AM, which is a, like a fun kind of peacocky electric cobalt blue, and I recently picked up 4PM, 4 a.m. part 4 p.m. and this is an eggplant or an aubergine and so I love these because they don't budge they don't melt down and drip and get into your eyes they're almost wear like bulletproof like waterproof but they're not because they're natural so they don't claim to be waterproof but I love them I've already used these in too many tutorials but I love how they wear like I said and they don't irritate your eyes and so I will be getting the basic colors I want all the colors really but I recently went out and bought this purple and then I threw away my makeup geek liner that was purple because it wasn't appearing on the lid or on the eyes at all. I threw it away. I got this in its place. I've been wanting a purple liner now for two years. I bought a really cheap terrible one in Alabama and then I bought the makeup geek one which I was not happy with and then I got this and it is a deep purple. I want a bright purple but I love this formula and I love that it lasts. Okay, so my next favorite is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. This may have been in several tutorials back in the day, but recently they became cruelty free again. Yay! So that means they are made in America again. 
Very nice. So uh, what's nice about that, no, I'm not a Trump supporter. What's nice about that, sorry. What's nice about that is that um, we have, a we have jobs in America and it's cruelty free. We're not testing on animals, right? So awesome possum, okay? And it wears very well. I'm wearing it now and I love if this is just such a beautiful flexible brush that I want all the colors. And it doesn't like drip and get stuck in your eyelid. I missed this. I think I like it even better than Kat Von D Trooper. Next favorite is Well Rested. I swear by this stuff. Oh, mine's messy. I'm wearing it today. I like to put it right on top of my Complexion Rescue and then put my original foundation on top because that way it doesn't look super brightening, but it makes the, all the skin look even and pure. I love it so much that I always have an unopened backup because there's so very little in here. They need to make it as big as the foundations. And actually some people who are this fair, fairer than me, more yellow than me, wear this as foundation. So it really needs to be a bigger jar. Favorite shadow palettes go to these. So the very first favorite shadow palette we have is a palette I made myself. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. And so here we have fresh orange soda, pink champagne, and hot chocolate. This has been in so many favorites. But I'm still swearing by these shadows. And I have yet to make another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. But speaking of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, they have so many gorgeous ones that are already made for you that are a very amazing value. So this cost $40. This is not a Z palette. Don't buy from Zena. This is Anastasia. So $42 and I'm almost done with that sucker, but I'm wearing this actually today. It looks like a boring look, really, um, but I've used a lot of fun colors. So um, I'm not trying to discredit myself. It is a boring eye look, but I wanted something pretty today. Um, so tempera was, of course, the brown color. I put just a hair, a touch of Primavera, and then I went back over it with tempera again just to soften it. And then in the inner corner, I put just a touch more Primavera. In the crease is burnt orange. In the outer corner is a blend of Rilker and Cypress Umber. And then in the inner corner, this is a very gentle halo smoky eye look, so you probably didn't recognize this. But in the inner corner right here is a blend again of uh, whatever is remaining on the brush of Rilker and Cypress Umber. And then on the lid, I packed on Primavera. By then, the brush is dirty, so we had like a really fun, very blendy, smoky eye, so it didn't look like a highlight in the center of the lid. And then I took Antique Bronze using that exact same brush and just sort of tried to move uh, Primavera into Cypress Umber. So we'd have sort of like a very fun, pretty look. Nothing on the under eye. And then the Stila Liquid Liner and Wispy Lashes, Vintage Peach, and Magic from Kat Von D. So that's what created this that look. It's a very fun, uh, easy to wear uh, look that's a little soft but a little unusual. And uh, this is just a great blendable palette. My next favorite palette for the month goes to Dose of Colors Ice Cream Palette. I absolutely love this palette. I couldn't put it down all month. I think obsessed would be the word. <laughs> I absolutely was obsessed. And uh, favorites would go to Berries and Cream, Mint Chip, of course. Uh, lavender honey, and in all fairness, bubblegum. Uh, this isn't my favorite frosty pink by any means, but it, it is very beautiful and makes a lovely look. And I used a lot of bear blueberry swirl. I don't think there was a color I didn't touch in this palette. The whole thing creates a lovely look. I don't use a lot of double scoop-esque colors, except, you know, today I did use the antique bronze. But that, I don't, I use it more to shade than I do anything else. Uh, same thing with, you know, the matte chalk. I use them more for, like, shading colors. I don't really use them as a main color. But nonetheless, I love, I loved everything in here. And yeah, I do definitely critique highlight and shading colors, for sure. They, those colors are used a lot, but are never the focus, but they need to blend that, with that being said. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. This is my favorite highlight palette for the month. Uh, and I'm not putting it in the same category as shadows because I don't reach for this as a shadow palette. I haven't used it as a duochrome palette, to be very frank with you guys, even though I I am still kind of like, mm, I gotta do it. But I, I love this as a highlight palette. I love 
cool highlighters, but I still, I mean, I still want people to want to try a colored highlighter. So I'm not putting pink here. That's not highlighting. But I love that these are clear, so you can actually put pink, green, and blue there. And people love it. They're like, you look like an alien today, but a pretty alien. I love it. It's like, me too. Did anybody see Star Wars back in the day, the cyborg? She was awesome, right? So you can be an alien any time of day you want. So we have green emerald, blue sapphire, ultraviolet amethyst, and pink opal. And uh, I need to do a tutorial using these because they're amazing. Favorite highlighter bar none is Flawless Radiance. And this needs to be more readily available. It's only available at the stores and online. But I love it. It's very, it's very beautiful. It's like a little bit more of an iced version of Pure Radiance. So really good on soft, or sorry, really good on fair skin, not soft skin. It's got, it's a lot more What's my phone doing? It's a lot more um, pearly. It has a much stronger base to it. It's almost like a, a satin versus Pure Radiance is very sparkly and sparse. The particles are very sparse in Pure Radiance. So you can definitely use that on darker skin because it doesn't have a base tone, versus, whereas this one does. Favorite blush of the month goes to Fruit Cocktail, and it is a vibrant neon pink. I did a news anchor's makeup using this, and I loved that it was actually for Egyptian news or Arabic news. And I love that I was able to use this because it's one of my favorite blushes. And she actually didn't have a deep skin tone; it's a very neutral, very fa fairly fair, you know, skin tone. Number seven from Bare Skin, if you're familiar with Bare Minerals. So very basic, medium, neutral, but I had to make sure it showed up on camera. So I pulled out my favorite fruit cocktail. Um, so um, it's going to be for a new news station called The Rock. Her name is Adele. So I don't know if you're Arabic or you watch Arabic news, but I use this color on her and um, her lipstick was um, Clinique Sweetheart and Clinique Bloom Pops. Of course, I don't work for Clinique, but I needed to get a really deep lip on her. Favorite lipsticks for this month? I have two. So my first favorite is the one I'm wearing, and I wear this one a lot, actually, so I'm so glad I got it. I'm wearing it out to death. Is there already half a bullet left? I love this, and I just got this in Palm Springs, but this is the Kat Von D Magic Lipstick. I'll probably need a second tube of that. Am I becoming basic? Anyways, that's magic. It's got silver sheen in it. So how basic can you really be when your basic lipstick has silver sparkle? But this is my other kind of favorite when you want to kind of amp it up. But it's a soft lilac. So if you're not feeling like you want a strong lip, I haven't used as much of this. And the tubes are shorter. But this is the Booksum Matte Gel in the shade Ultraviolet. And it's a soft lilac. They're wonderful lipsticks, by the way. So yeah, I do love me a lilac -y lipstick. They're beautiful and they're definitely much more fun than a mauve or a berry and beautiful on all skin tones. And if you have fair skin, don't be afraid of purple. This one has enough pink in it. You can rock it. I can rock it. You can rock it. Okay. Okay. So I know I'm a little fearless when it comes to color, but everybody needs color and these do have a magnetic lid. Oh, I love that. So I love the packaging on here too. I love those studs. It doesn't matter if you don't love the studs. It's got a signature on it. Ooh. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. But before I let you go, I'm going to throw in my regrets. So my regrets, I got two for the price of one. And I was looking so hard at finding the perfect, inexpensive black liquid eyeliner that you end up wasting money doing that sometimes when you're trying to save money. But nonetheless, the very first regret I have here is the Soap and Glory Super Cat Liquid Liner. It literally looks like a frickin' marker when you draw it on your eyelids, like you took frickin' Crayola, and you have zigzagging, funky lines. The brush is completely inflexible, very stiff and very thick, and so now I know how people feel entirely when they say they hate felt tip markers. So that is literally going in the garbage. The next regret I have in here is the Physicians Formula Ultra Black Matte Black Cream Gel Liner. 
this is like a dupe of hang on uh, this is like a dupe of the benefit push-up pen so really cute if you're uh you know you need to save some money. Although I don't consider $11.99 cheap. The other one was 10 bucks, by the way, and that's a higher end brand. So with that said, Physi Physician's Formula isn't cheap. I could have gotten a bronzer from Physician's Formula that I loved that had crummy packaging, but I would have loved the contents. I could have depotted it, put in something nicer. But this, I mean, you have to take a brush and draw it on. And when you're done drawing it on, you don't have much of anything because this is so difficult to draw with. And then if you were to go ahead and get the Benefit Push Up Their Real Liner, uh, it would be incredibly difficult to remove. So nonetheless, they both suck in my opinion. But this one, this cruelty-free version of it, it, it does suck. And you can't draw with it. I don't care what brush you use. I don't care how great an artist you use. The fact that there's like funky little lines in it when you pump it out, it's like it's being forced out of the tube. Like it doesn't want to belong in there. And you can't draw straight with this on the lid by any means. That's a very broad pen. So that, my friends, I only used that once and I, I hated the outcome. So that's it. <laughs>